loft. For this, I'm taking two open curves and two closed curves. If I go to surface, loft and select these two, I get a surface in between. Similarly, if I were to loft between these two, I get a surface accordingly. I cannot loft between open and a closed curve. Either select open curves or closed curves, but not both. If I raise two of these and now create a loft, I will find that I get an elevated three-dimensional surface. Similarly in this case. In case of closed curves, what we see here is as in arrows are called as seam points. Having these seam points in the same direction is important. This is the current scenario. However, if on purpose I opt to change the direction of one of it, I'll end up with a wrong surface creation. In such cases, you can click on align curves and click it back to make it normal. Similarly, it might be so that I have clicked on the opposite ends of the open curves. Even then, you might find this kind of a situation where you can click on align curves to restore it. You can also loft to a point. So if I were to say loft this curve and this point, I get this answer. Similarly, this curve and a point, you get an answer. When we do a loft, you get a lot of options here. To understand these options better, let's take another example. Uh, let me take two curves, two circles and a point. <coughs> Currently all of them are at the same level. So I'll just move one to the bottom, one a little above. And when I say loft, I get a new surface. Please observe that the sequence of selection when you are selecting loft for more than two objects is important. If I had selected this second and third, I got a surface flowing in that direction. If I had happened to select one, two and then three, I would get a surface in this direction. Please observe this particular curve. The style currently is normal. If I change it to loose, you find that the surface is influenced by this curve but not necessarily passing through it. If I opt for tight, it is very similar to normal but slightly different. If I opt for uniform, it is still different. If I opt for straight sections, I get straight line sections. However, you still find here some options which are not yet active. Let's look at what rebuild does. Let me rebuild it with three points. What I have ended up with is only three points for this surface in each of the curves. Do not use this option unless you know why you want to rebuild the points. Most likely you will be creating the curves of your choice and I opt for do not simplify. Refit will be for tolerance with using these parameters. We had found a few of the options still not activated. To understand one of them, I am going to take another example. 
where I'm taking three curves and not two. Again, I'm placing one at the bottom and one at the top so that there are different planes. And I'm saying loft. Selecting first curve, second curve, third curve. And you'll find that closed loft is activated. What does closed loft do? If I keep closed loft on, you will find that the surface is created and also ends back where it started. If I go to straight sections, preview, closed loft, preview, you find that the surface was created using these curves and the surface was closed. It does not mean that a poly surface is created to close. It is not a closed object. It is closing only in terms of where the surface started and closing it accordingly. There are still a couple of options which are not activated. For that, let's take another example. Let me delete this. I'm taking a simple box. I'm extracting the surface. You know what explode is. Explode will create six individual surfaces of this box. However, if I right click and extract only one surface, let's say this one, then only that is disjoint. The rest are all joined together. Using another curve, I'm going to use midpoint on in object snap and create rebuilding this curve created curve with four points and degree three starting the points control points raising them a little above and creating a nice t shape if i were to now opt for loft using this edge this curve and this edge i can get a nice close lock using straight sections. However, if I opt for normal, you will find match start at tangent and match end tangent both being activated. The reason is the this end and this end both are edges and not curves as the earlier examples were. Hence, when I say match start at tangent or match end at tangent it is trying to continue the tangency at the edges because it is an edge of a surface that is getting continued if I had selected straight sections it would have not mattered but with normal this possibility exists what happens to this open area as of this particular loft option is concerned this command ends here itself. This open area can be closed using other surface methods.